So the plan here is to make a bigger version of this, um, but out of hard maple to go above our fireplace. So this is a panel of six quarter hard maple. Um, it's a panel. I get, the only interesting thing here is that I didn't do biscuits or dominoes or anything because I didn't really know how deep I was gonna carve it. And I didn't need to scrape off the glue because I'm about to take an angle grinder to it. But, you know. I figured out with a big piece of paper what the right size would be to fit in that spot. And it would end up being 48 inches wide by 20 inches tall. Set up this overhead shot just to show how I drew this shape, but it's pretty straightforward. I just kind of copied uh, what I did on the smaller test piece um, and just kind of stretched it to fit. I also went over the lines here with a Sharpie just so I knew where uh, where the lines were when I started grinding everything because I knew it was just going to be a mess. I'm using two different cuts all discs. This is the coarse one and there's also a fine one. Um, and it took me a while to kind of get the hang of it. There's a lot of, it's kind of a like there's kind of a sweet spot with the angle that you have it on, and I was definitely pressing too hard at the beginning just to kind of get a bunch of material out. Um, and it left a lot of gouges, like when you press pretty hard or it's not at the quite the right angle or whatever it is. It was right around here where the angle grinders started getting extremely hot and just kept shutting off. And it took me a minute to realize that the battery powered one was just not meant to run for a long period of time. So I bit the bullet and just went and bought the corded version of the same thing. That ended up being the right move because it was smooth sailing from there. I thought using the multi-tool for sanding was going to be uh, a lot more <laughs> useful than it was, but you can see here that there was still a lot of like gouges that I mentioned earlier, and I was pretty frustrated that it uh, was not turning out as smooth as I wanted it to. So the real MVP is this uh, softer sanding pad for my sander, so it kind of flexes a bit to kind of fit into uh, fit around the curves better and that was that that was it just like you know 80 grit sandpaper and uh, a softer pad was way more useful than the, the little multi-tool thing with the triangle
Now that all the carving's done, I need to route out uh, a channel on the back of the panel um, to fit the uh, aluminum French cleat that I bought for this. Now it is, uh, I, I just, I had to clean the shop because there was just sawdust and all these chips absolutely everywhere. This might be the dirtiest my shop has been, uh, well, at least since the time I made, uh, <laughs> dowels on the table saw where there was three inches of sawdust covering my feet. Um, but this was also pretty bad. Rubio Monaco cleaner, which I'm pretty sure is doing something, but uh, <laughs> I'm not I guess I'm not really sure uh, what it is, which is it's a ringing endorsement for that product. Of course, I'm going to finish this with Rubio Monaco uh, pure, which I was a little worried it was going to end up too matte, but I made some other projects with uh, hard maple that I thought turned out nice, so I just wanted to try it. I have these white scotch, you know, it's the scotch pads, or abrasive pads, but they're specifically cut for the six inch sander, which is handy. And I'm sure everyone has seen countless YouTube people scooping this goop onto a woodworking project. Uh, and here we are doing it again. And then, of course, using my sander to buff in this, um, which always produces a super nice finish. And I know this is how it is, but I think this is the coolest this project looked uh, right after I applied the finish. But then it dries and it just becomes more matte, and that's fine. The last piece of setup is just uh, drilling and screwing in the... Um, aluminum French cleat on the back of the panel. But overall, I'm uh, pretty happy with how it turned out. I think I might refinish it with a glossier, uh, you know, maybe add a wax or sand it back and do like a super glossy polyurethane or something, just because I think it would look cooler if it were shinier and reflected light more. I think the matte just kind of isn't really helping. 